हेलो एवरी वन सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड शेड्यूल ट्रिगर इन एजो डेटा फैक्ट्री विथ प्रैक्टिकल वील ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ शेड्यूल ट्रिगर वर्क इन एजो डेटा फैक्ट्री सो फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वाट इज शेड्यूल ट्रिगर शेड्यूल ट्रिगर इज अ टाइप ऑफ ट्रिगर दैट अलाउज यू टू ऑटोमेटिकली एक्जीक्यूट द पाइपलाइन ऑन अ प्री डिफाइंड शेड्यूल फॉर टेकिंग एग्जाम्पल सपोज आई हैव वन ऑफ द पाइपलाइन कॉपी डेटा पाइपलाइन वाट दिस डेटा पाइपलाइन इज डूइंग इट इज कॉपिंग अ डेटा फ्रॉम अ स्टोरेज अकाउंट टू द सिक्वल टेबल Now what actually I want this particular pipeline should run automatically means every day it should run every week it should run this kind of the scenario I have I want to automate this all the process every day this particular data pipeline should run means I want to schedule it so in that kind of the scenario we use a schedule trigger let me show you let me open azure data factory so you can see this is the one of the data pipeline I have you can see now to run this pipeline previously what we were doing we were clicking on the add trigger button and we were clicking on the trigger now when i will click on the trigger now this pipeline will run so that is a manual trigger but now what actually we are seeing we are discussing about the schedule trigger so for that we have to click on the new edit click on the add trigger and click on the new edit once you will click on the new edit you will get option like choose trigger so as of now there is no trigger so what you will do we'll click on the new click on the new we are going to create a trigger so first we have to give the trigger name so i am giving a trigger name as a trigger one after that we have to select the type so we have a four type you can see we have a schedule trigger tumbling window trigger storage event trigger custom events trigger so as of now we are going to discuss about the schedule trigger so i'll select that after that you have to select the start time so i will select the current time this is my start date and after that you have to select the time zone based on your location you can select the time zone and after that you can see we have a on which particular time schedule you want to run this pipeline so i want to run every day so for that day you can select every minute if you want to run so minutes you can select every hour you can select every week you can select every month you can select let me select the minute i'll select as a 2 every 2 minutes it should run we specify an end date so till what date it should run so i am just selecting the 10th of april it should run this particular time every 2 minute this particular trigger should run so what actually will happen every 2 minutes the particular trigger will run and it will run this particular pipeline so we don't have to manually run the pipeline every 2 minutes this particular pipeline will run with the help of this trigger so that's kind of the scheduling we can do with the help of this now you can see start trigger start trigger on creation now after that we just have to click on the okay once you will click on the okay click on the okay click click on the publish all publish all then only your all the changes will be saved you can see it is publishing i'll show you the monitor window as of now as of now there is no even i will refresh no pipeline is here so we'll wait for the 2 minutes because every 2 minutes my pipeline should run so it should run automatically first it is uh, publishing you can see publish is completed now we'll go to the monitor window and we'll try to monitor this every 2 minute my pipeline should run automatically uh, with the help of the trigger so let's wait for that now you can see this particular pipeline ran and it got succeed means after 2 min minutes automatically this particular pipeline got ran and it got success now if you will see how actually you will verify it's run through a trigger you can see trigger by a trigger if you will run manually then it will show a manual trigger so that's how actually we can schedule our pipeline so in a trigger you can go you can click on the new edit and you can select any new trigger if you want to create a new trigger you can click here and you can click on the plus and after that you can schedule based on your requirement i hope you got about the schedule trigger in next video we'll discuss about the other triggers thanks for watching.